Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, today is something special. It's very rare you got two good news when you're talking about boxing. Very rare. I got two good news for you guys. Right? One is Huey Fury signs a contract to fight your boy, right? Uh, Joseph Parker. He signed a contract by, by the deadline. That's why I didn't come to report every little thing you hear from somebody's Twitter or something like that. Don't report all that. Let's let it happen first. He made the deadline. Come to find out the papers are just on the way. You know, it's a 12-hour uh, time difference, right? So, boom. Man does it. We got the fight. I don't know if April 1st or not. They're going to change the date or not, but the fight is going to happen. Great news, isn't it? That's what I think. Now, here's the news on the same level, right? Dillian White, heavyweight contender from England, you know, claim the fame, you know, uh, giving uh, Anthony Joshua a good fight and uh, having a great barn burner type fight of the year type fight with Derek Chisora just recently. So he's in the news. Great, uh, good uh, fighter from Britain. He is probably, is still probably stages, but uh, probably will face Luis Ortiz, the real King Kong Ortiz, the unfighter guy from Cuba, South Paul, that nobody want to fight. Everybody's saying everybody's ducking. Well, you know that since his last two fights, Luis Ortiz has been fighting for Eddie Hearn, the mastermind behind all this stuff. Listen, Luis Ortiz gets signed by Eddie Hearn because he's disgruntled over there at Golden Boy Promotions, right? We probably know why now, but it doesn't matter. So, Eddie Hearn picks him up, brings him to England, and he's trying to raise his profile in England. He had that one fight in Monaco against, I um, can't think of his name right now, it was Malik Scott. Uh, didn't look that great because Malik Scott made the fight very ugly and Malik Scott can move. So, then he goes and fight Dave Allen from England, right? You know, to get his exposure up. Now, this fight is a great fight from every perspective. I know what Eddie Hearn is thinking. Eddie Hearn is like, the winner of this fight versus Anthony Joshua, if he were to come out of the Klitschko fight, is not an arena fight anymore. It's a stadium fight, right? This is how he's thinking. I'm pretty sure of it because if you just, you know, put your empty cap on a little bit, just think with me. Hey, look, what if, what if your boy Luis Ortiz were to win, right? He's taking care of another Englander, right? And they're trying to do it on the undercard of Kell Brook. Errol Spence, which means a lot of exposure, right? And then you're really the boogeyman for the English people to see, and Anthony Joshua versus Luis Ortiz would be a big fight. So, same thing with Dillian White. If he were to, to knock the boogeyman off, he's going to be the mandatory for everybody, but then fighting Anthony Joshua would be huge then, because first of all, with one arm, he had Anthony Joshua wobbled. Everyone knows it. Plus, he beat Anthony Joshua in the, in the amateurs, so that's huge in England. Like I say, probably a stadium fight at that point, right? This is how Eddie O'Hearn is thinking. That's why he got Luis Ortiz over there, telling him, hey, look, man, you're old. I'll handle this within. If you keep winning, I'll have you in championship fights or big money fights, which is the same thing to a boxer. <laughs> so at the end of the day, it's probably going to be some money made. So that fight with uh, those two is huge. So... That, isn't that a good day of boxing? By the way, we got Deontay Wilder coming later. So that's a good thing in the heavyweight heavyweight division. Good news all across the board. He just came in. You know what time it is. Huey Fury signs a contract. He's going to fight Joseph Parker soon. That's great. Dillian White versus Luis Ortiz is quite possible. All right? That's the news. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm up out of here.